Hello everyone, welcome to your channel Sarbirendra. I hope you all are doing great. This is the video for all people who are appearing for IELTS general. This is the sample test for IELTS listening. Kindly pay attention to all the instructions being given in the video. Kindly complete the test and I'll meet you at the end of the video with this course. Best of luck. Part 1. Listen to the following conversation carefully and then complete the forms from different extracts. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 4. Message 1. I've lost two credit cards. One is a Visa, the other is a MasterCard. What can I do? Don't worry. What's your name, please? My name is Ronald Howard. Howard, H-O-W-A-R-D. Do you know the numbers of the lost cards, sir? Yes. I wrote them down here. The Visa is number 6091-1313-9789. And the MasterCard is number 7228-6718-7217-5059. Do you still remember the expiration date of the cards? Yes. The visa expires in November 2014. And the MasterCard in January 2015. Thank you, sir. Could you show me your ID card? Here you are. Thank you. Please come by the office on Wednesday so that we can issue two new cards. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10. Message 2 Could you show me the menu, please? Here you are, sir. Will you dine a la carte or the table d'hote? I think the table d'hote will do very well for me. Does it include an appetizer, soup, and so forth? Yes, sir. The table d'hote includes an appetizer, soup, salad, choice of dessert, tea or coffee. Is there any particular dish you would recommend? The roast duck is very good tonight, and we also have several special chicken dishes if you like chicken. Okay. I'll take the roast duck and some veal. Do you want to drink something? A bottle of beer. Will you order your desserts now? Apple pie, ice cream, or cakes? Apple pie, please, and a cup of coffee. Okay. Wait a minute. I'll bring you the appetizer right away. I've got a reservation through my secretary. My name is Reed. R-E-A-D-E. -E. Just a minute, please. Yes, you've got a reservation. A single room for three days. The room number is 1201. Here is the key. Thank you. Could you show me your passport? Your passport number? Its number is JDA2151623. How many pieces of luggage do you have? Just these three, two suitcases and one bag. Okay. Please sign the register here, and the porter will take your luggage to your room. Here is the register. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I hope you'll enjoy your stay here. That is the end of Part 1. You now have half a minute to check your answers.
Now turns to part two. Part two. You will hear a human resources manager talking about her company's work-life balance policy. First, you have some time to look at questions eleven to fifteen. Now listen carefully and answer questions eleven to fifteen. In our company, we believe that our employees are more productive. You know, they work better if they're happy. Naturally, we have to make sure the company makes a profit, but at the same time, we need to think about the physical and mental health of our employees. We do understand that they aren't just working machines. So we have a policy of helping them find a fair balance between their work and their private lives, what we call a work-life balance. We do this in several ways. Firstly, we have a family-friendly policy, so parents can look after their children when they're very young. For example, sometimes they need to work flexible hours, you know, times that aren't fixed. Other times, parents have to work part time. And quite a lot work from home. Another example of our family-friendly policy is our generous maternity leave package. In our company, we allow women who've had a baby to take a whole year off work after the baby's born, and of course, while they're away, their jobs are protected. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions sixteen to twenty. Now listen and answer questions sixteen to twenty. Because we want our employees to be happy, we carried out a survey recently to find out which working patterns are really most popular. In general, our staff prefer to work at the office. In fact, nearly half come in during regular office hours. You know, from nine to five. Anyway, we also asked about part-time work. Working from home and another option, job sharing. Job sharing is a kind of part-time work where two people share the responsibilities for one full-time job. Anyway, we found that only five percent of our staff wanted to share a job, so it's not very popular on the whole. But when it comes to working part-time, we were surprised to find that twenty-seven percent of our employees would actually prefer it. That's a very high number, really, over a quarter of the staff. And then it was interesting to see that quite a lot of our staff, twenty percent in fact, would like to work from home. I'd like to give you an example of the kind of person who benefits most from our family-friendly policy. Sally is one of our assistants in accounting who has two small children. Sally's husband travels abroad a lot. So she has to look after the children on her own most of the time. Both the children go to a nursery early in the morning, so we've agreed that Sally can come in at eight o'clock after she leaves the children. At lunchtime, Sally's sister picks the children up from the nursery, but she has to go to work herself at three o'clock. So Sally leaves the office at two to collect the children from her sisters. And she makes up the extra time by finishing her work at home. That is the end of part two. You now have half a minute to check your answers.
Now turns to part three. Part three. You will hear a conversation between a customer and a shop assistant. First, you have some time to look at questions twenty-one to twenty-five. Now listen carefully and answer questions twenty-one to twenty-five. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes, please. I bought this bread-making machine from you quite a while ago, and it doesn't work. I see. That's unusual. These bread makers are usually very reliable. You didn't overfill it, did you, or put too much water in the mix? Those are two reasons for malfunction we often hear of. No, certainly not. I had it working for quite a while, and then it stopped working. It doesn't do anything now. I see. That sounds like a fault in the machine. Yes. I wonder if you can do anything about it for me. Well, that depends. If it is inside the guarantee period, we can help you. Otherwise, it will be more difficult. Let me see. I have the receipt here. I bought it in. Ah,、uh... huh, it was some time ago. Uh, the receipt says in February last year. February. Well, unfortunately, that means it is outside the warranty period. Oh. In that case, I'll get you a form which you can fill in, and we'll see what we can do. Well, what can you do? Do you think? Well, as I say, if you fill in this form, we can send away the bread maker to be mended. It goes off to a repair centre. Oh, good.、Uh, what happens then? Then we don't get an exact costing, but we will get back an estimate of how much it will cost and how long it will take. I see. And do you think it'll be expensive? Well, it won't be cheap. There will be labour and parts to think about, and also the postage and packing costs. And we don't know how much they will be. Not yet.、Hmm. But when you get the estimate, you've got two options. Obviously, if you agree, you can go ahead. Or if you don't, you can say no. It's too expensive. It's your decision entirely whether you agree. And if I go ahead, then we arrange the repair. We don't have much stock room, so when it is done, what we'll have to do is arrange a time for you to collect it from us. All right, that's what I'll do. Just give me the receipt. Here you are. Just a minute, madam. I, I thought you said you bought the bread maker in February. That's right.、Uh, here is the date: two twelve o six. I think there's some mistake. In the UK. Two twelve o six is the second of December two thousand and six. Oh, of course! How stupid of me! Of course it is. So it's inside the warranty period. Oh, great! That's right. That's much easier. <laughs> so, what can you do now? Very simple. You fill in this form. We replace the machine and return it to your home address within three days. Oh, well, that's excellent. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions twenty-six to thirty. Now let me have your details. Certainly. Now this is a Gleeware Breadmaker Three model number. Ah,、uh, I have it here. Two one seven. Two one seven. Nine eight zero. Nine eight zero. Three four five. Thank you. Now, where did you buy it? Was it here?、Uh, no, it was in your shop in Blue Water. I see. Uh, Blue Water. Now date bought two twelve o six. Now can I have your name? Yes, it's Young, J H Young. That's、uh, that's spelled Y O N G E. That's Young. I see. And your address? Fifteen, Capercaillie Gardens, Aberdeen. 
Uh, I should know this. Can you tell me? <laughs> yes, it's C A P E R, then C A I double L I E. Sorry, could you say that again? <laughs> sure, C A P E R C A I double L I E. And gardens, as in gardens. <laughs> Yes. Good. And the postcode? A D twenty two four S C. Thank you. And what would be a convenient time of day to deliver the replacement bread maker? Oh,、uh, morning is best. If that's all right. That's fine. So it should be with you on Monday, madam. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Bye. Goodbye, madam. That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part four. Part four. You are going to hear a lecture given by a coach. First, you have some time to look at questions thirty-one to forty. Now listen to the tape and answer questions thirty-one to forty. Today, I'm going to give all the new members of our league a brief introduction about our basketball league. We are a competitive league whose goal is to promote sportsmanship and good health. Founded in 1988 with four teams and 30 players, today we have grown to over 20 teams and 200 players. We will accept any player, regardless of race or sex. As long as they are a student at this school, there is no maximum age. As long as you are still fit, you can play. But we do require all players meet the minimum age standard, which is 20 for woman and 18 for man. We expect the best behaviour out of all the players, whether male or female. Hopefully, you will all enjoy the upcoming season and make new friends with your teammates and coaches. Our final date of registration is October eleventh. If you have any friends or family that are still interested, don't forget to remind them to register by this date. After October one, there is a late registration fee of twenty dollars on top of the two hundred dollar membership fee. The membership fee includes a team uniform, gym usage fees, and referee fees. All the coaches in our league are volunteers. So please be respectful and don't yell at them if they don't know everything. Please attend your first team meeting on October fifteen. This will be an important event to get to know your teammates and coaches. The first practice is scheduled for October eighteen. Please call ahead if you know you can't make it. Our league schedule is as follows: there will be practice every Tuesday and Thursday, and games every Saturday morning. This is gym time that is included in your membership fees. Your coaches and the rest of the team can arrange any extra practice times. Practices are from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., and games are from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Please plan on making all your practices and games. We realize that all the players are also mothers and fathers, students and workers. Yet at the same time, it takes commitment to create a good basketball team. There are some rules that everyone in the league must abide by. First, please be on time to your games. 
If your team is more than 10 minutes late, you will be forced to forfeit the game. Second, please wear appropriate basketball shoes for all practices and games, as shoes other than these may damage the gym floor. Third, be respectful to the referees. Any inappropriate actions or gestures will result in an ejection and a fine from the league. Last, the most important thing is to have a good time. If you are not enjoying yourself, then you are missing the point of basketball. See you all at the games next Saturday. That is the end of part four. That's the end of section four. You now have half a minute to check your answers. That is the end of the test. You now have 10 minutes to transfer your answers to your IELTS listening answer sheet. Congratulations, you have completed the test. Don't forget to comment your score and don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you.